It's moving day. It's time to move. Are you gonna help us? Are you gonna help us move boxes? You're definitely not gonna help us. You suck. Oh no. Oh, oh boxes. No, no. I wanna curl up in a quarter and cry. <laughs> we have about 16 of these boxes that uh, weigh anywhere from 50 to 150 pounds. We've also got a bunch of stuff in the office that can't really be boxed because it's either too big or an awkward shape. We do have a U-Haul for all the big stuff today and it's just Wifey Sauce and I tackling all this by ourselves. This is all the, just our personal stuff from my grandparents' place. Tomorrow is where we do the actual studio where there's like 40 boxes. We're actually hiring professional movers for all that crap so tomorrow should be a little less stressful today is like our big move day as far as how much physical labor wifey sauce and i are actually responsible for so today is hell day no <laughs> all right we're on our way to the u-haul pickup now we're gonna go pick up a 15 footer i'm gonna jump in the truck and, and drive it back home while wifey sauce goes to get us coffee so that we both survive the day and then at that point once we're both uh, reconvened at, at uh, my grandparents place we'll start loading the truck because that's how moving works Oh, we're here? U-Haul! U-Haul! Do you think these have Android Auto? Which truck's ours? I don't know. But, get out. Got the keys to my brand new car! Ain't she a beauty? Start her up! Oh yeah, that is the sound of a beast! I just had multiple orgasms! Okay, we got the U-Haul in our driveway. We're good to go. Let's start moving some boxes. Ah, <sighs> we did it. We moved everything. Good job, honey. We knocked it out of the park. Yeah, she's she's over it. Everything that should be moving today is officially in the truck. It was actually pretty smooth. The, the hardest thing by far was the couch because the couch is, it only splits up into two parts and one part is just a little ottoman. So the other part is like the long, like the majority of the couch had to go down the stairs. And with just wifey sauce and I, we did a pretty good job, but uh, we did we did mark up a little bit of the, of, of the wall there. Fortunately, we plan to give my grandparents a very generous security deposit so they can replace all the carpet or repaint the walls as needed and everything should be hunky-dory. It is about noon and we're hungry. We're tired, sweaty, and hungry, so we're gonna go have lunch. While we were so hungry, I completely forgot to even vlog our food when it was still here, but it's clearly, it's clearly enjoyed and devoured quickly. Except the coleslaw. I didn't really like the coleslaw. Look at this millennial paying for her lunch with a tablet. I think you're so cool, don't you? All right, I'm back in the U-Haul, so at this point, Wifey Sauce is gonna follow me in her personal vehicle. We're gonna head to the new house and unload all this crap. And I have to make sure to drive very carefully so I don't destroy all of it. All right, we're about halfway there. I think the load's doing just fine. I haven't heard anything shatter in the back yet. My grandpa's house looks really weird with all of our bedrooms empty. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of sad. Actually, last night I caught my grandma, uh, crying, like stealth crying, you know, trying not to show it really, but she was crying a little bit as she was watching Heather and I pack up our stuff. I've been living with them since 2014. It's been four years, and, uh, I think this move is, is hitting me a little bit harder than I thought it would definitely hitting them. When I saw her crying there, I, uh, I went over and tried to comfort her and, you know, I reassured her that Heather and I are going to visit often and we'll still see each other. But, you know, deep down we both knew that, you know, it was never going to be the same. So it's really tough leaving them behind in that mostly empty house now. But, you know, that's just part of life. New chapters begin and old ones end. So it's, uh, it's definitely bittersweet. All right, exit the freeway. Hey, who's that cutie? Oh, she's kind of psycho. Yeah, let's let's just let's not look over that way. Okay, we're all we're all moved in. Everything went really smoothly. Wifey Sauce and I are an awesome team, and everything from my grandparents' house is now in this house. Also, the paint. The paint is done in the entire house, except for the living room that needs a lot of work. So let me just give you the quick five second tour here. Uh, wifey Sauce has already <laughs> taken full advantage of the couch we just moved in. But uh, look at this, remember this room? Remember this room? I already showed you guys the floor in one of the previous vlogs, but now look at it with the paint, with the paint and the floors and the floors and the paint. It's It looks like a brand new house. It looks completely different. It's looking real nice. Now we're at Target because we have to get some cleaning supplies before we can start unpacking all of our things back at the house. So we're trying to decide what the the best wet mop would be. Uh, we've boiled it down to these two options. We've got the uh, Rubbermaid, Rubbermaid for $19.99, and then what's the other one? Uh, the, the, the Libman, the Libman, not this one, but uh, the, this guy, see, they, they both have the uh, the water inserts. This one is $22.49. All right, Wifey Sauce is gonna do a test really quick. This is the Libman. All right, test it out, babe. How's it feel? Handle quality, the sprayer. Is there water in there? There is. Why is there water already in there? That's weird. All right, now, now try the Rubbermaid. I think this one's 
leads us to the most sturdy. Let me give it a shot. Oh yeah, it, it actually feels pretty, like the joint, the joint of where the mop head is feels pretty secure. You know, this one, it feels too stiff. I feel like I'm gonna get carpal tunnel after a while. All right, put that one back. We're gonna buy this one. Okay, wife, wife likes the green one, so we're going with the green one. I like the green one too. My opinion matters too, damn it. No, it doesn't. You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> More important than choosing the mop though, what are we gonna drink while we're using the mop? Yeah. Yeah. Pacifico. We can make micheladas with it later. And we have a lemon tree, so we can put our own lemons inside the beer. Well, you can do lemon too. I'm an equal opportunity citrus drinker. Okay, I couldn't resist. I'm getting the 60 minute IPA as well. Dogfish head, it's good stuff. All right, so we just got to the new house and we were planning to actually clean a bunch of stuff because there's still like these, these floors are still riddled with dust. And then we're actually gonna like redistribute all the boxes into the rooms that they belong in and then like unpack and like build our bed and stuff like that. And then we realized it's 8 p.m. and we just had like a 15 hour day and we're both super wiped out. So we're gonna save that for later. Plus some of the bedrooms don't even have lights in them yet, which means it would be almost impossible to, to clean or move stuff into them. Also, quick update, look at the nest. I removed the trim back plate uh, that was here before, reinstalled it, looks a lot cleaner now. Eh? We don't have internet here yet though, so there's no Wi-Fi connected. It's really pretty, but until we get it on a network, it's dumber than a pile of rocks. Okay, I'm tired, let's go home. I agree. Wow, you're gonna agree with me just like that? Who are you? I'm tired. Who the hell are you? Imposter! All right, we're back at my grandparents' place. It's uh, it's late at night now, so we're gonna go to bed, wake up early in the morning, head to the office, and meet the movers who are going to be moving everything that's in our studio to the new house. So it's gonna be another long day, but it should be fun. Good night. All right, it's a brand new day, and this is what one of our office rooms looks like now. Pretty much packed. This is where we decide to put all the furniture. And then we've got uh, some fragile boxes here. We've got fully built systems in these boxes. These are all computer cases that we're, we're giving away for free uh, tomorrow. I actually tweeted out a list of all these cases and told people, you know, first come, first serve. Here, let's go. We have to go meet oh, oh, okay, the movers are here. The movers are here. Look, the, the, there are the other boxes right there. Okay, let's go. Look at that clearance. <laughs> All right, it's been about half an hour since the guys started and they are making a serious dent. They already moved all the boxes that were in this room, which were the heaviest boxes that all came from our storage room. So that was all the computer parts. So uh, everything's coming along really well. All right, almost everything is packed up. We just have a few more items here, a little bit of furniture. The Enthu Elite build, the very expensive, but also super heavy high-end system that I built a while ago with two GTX 1080 Ti's, uh, which is why I have it written here this side up. So the GPUs uh, are, are sort of vertical and not horizontal. I want to try to minimize the risk of them getting damaged in transit as well as leaking. This is, we didn't have time to actually drain the loop, so there's still two custom loops inside of this build. So hopefully it makes it out of this move unscathed. And once these last items are loaded up into the truck, we'll be on our way to the new house. We have everything moved in. The movers just left. Every single thing that we own in our lives is now in this house. Holy friggin' moly. And now we get to unpack all of it. Yay! Is there is there someone we can hire to, to do that too? Judging from the silence of wifey sauce, I'm guessing that's a no. All right, so we actually unpacked quite a bit, but there's still a lot that we need to do. This room, which was almost entirely full, is now partially empty, which is a good thing. And uh, same with this room. We, we actually cleared out a lot of boxes and put them in the appropriate places. Wifey Sauce is currently working on the family room. It's a little dark in here, but uh, maybe I can shine a light here. Yeah, how's it going, honey? It's very tiring, but the plant looks good. I think we should leave it right there. This is the shooting room. We got two tables uh, moved in here. We got the up desk. That's gonna be nice. I'm also gonna shoot B-roll here. This is also where awesome hardware is gonna be shot with Paul. And I'm not exactly sure what to do with the background here because the deal is my last set had a table, like a table just like this one uh, back here against the wall where I was able to have a system and a couple ultra wide monitors. That's no longer the case because the room is limited on space. I'm really not sure what to do on this wall here to sort of make it look nice for, for for the videos, for the set in general. If you guys have any ideas of what I should put on this wall, let me know. Over here, we have, well, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, there's no light in here yet, but you can sort of see what we've done with the office so far. But you can see here we have three desks set up, somewhat set up already. The one in the corner there with two monitors is mine. My, my PC's right there. And we've got Wifey Sauce's desk and a third companion desk that uh, might go to Chris if, if uh, Chris continues to help us out with editing and shooting. But it's looking pretty good in here so far. And then we've got our bedroom. King size bed right there. Super comfy, actually. This mattress was donated by uh, Wifey Sauce's grandma. Yeah. Thank you, Grandma Elsie. Oh, and, and Larry. 
Sorry, I'm tripping on things. We also have the TV. TV's probably gonna get wall mounted right here. Bam. Bathroom. Bathroom stuff. You know, it's a bathroom. We still haven't put the fixtures on yet, but that'll happen eventually. Uh, and then we've got, uh, yeah, closet space, Pacifico, and a ladder. We're gonna keep the ladder in here as well. I think it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's romantic. It says a lot about us as a couple. We're always striving to reach new heights as a, as a team. True love is just a step away. But that's how it's coming along so far. The house is really looking nice. I'm super excited with, uh, with what's been done so far and what still has yet to be done. I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys in the next video.